New at six, a new bill could eliminate the requirement of the firearm owner's identification card, also known as FOID in the state. News Channel 20's Alyssa Hui is working for you to get answers on why some are in support of this bill and others are not. Alyssa. Stacy, groups like the Illinois State Rifle Association say FOID cards and the process of getting one stops people from exercising their Second Amendment rights. But gun prevention groups believe FOID cards are a necessary safety precaution. A bill that's been filed in the Illinois House on Wednesday is pushing to get rid of the FOID card requirement in the state. The number one call is about FOID cards and concealed carries. And the reason is, is because it's a broken system that can't be fixed unless you scrap it. Currently, state law requires people to have a valid FOID card in order to buy or possess a firearm or ammunition. Representative Chesney, who is behind the legislation, says it's time for this practice to end. My solution would be is let's scrap it because most states aren't doing this anyway. We've got 46 states that are saying, hey, this isn't a good idea. You know, we haven't done this. Groups like the Illinois State Rifle Association are in support of the bill. What's happening is because the FOID cards are coming out so slow, uh, both on new cards and renewals, that people can't exercise their Second Amendment rights. But other organizations believe getting rid of the FOID card requirement will be harmful to public safety. We completely oppose this bill and this idea. If we get rid of the FOID cards, we have 20,000 people who would have had access to guns who are not legally allowed to own up. However, Pearson, who stands on the other side, says... Well, it doesn't do anything to enhance safety. Uh, the other states uh, that don't have FOID cards don't have any problems. There's no reason why this state should have problems. This is Representative Chesney's second attempt to remove the FOID card requirement, which has been in place for more than 50 years. Now, if the bill passes, background checks will remain in place. Reporting live at the Capitol, Alyssa Hui, News Channel 20. All right, thank you, Alyssa. Right now, Hawaii, Massachusetts, and New Jersey are the only other states that require residents to get a firearm ID card.